Amen. Amen. There is a miracle in your mouth, a miracle in the Word of God. I am Charity, you guys, right here at All Point Studio for Faith and Hope with Charity. I have with me my grandfather, yeah. Evangelist Roy Castro. Praise we are God. Praise so God. thankful to, to always have you here with us. And, and we're just thankful to, to be here today. We're excited to share the Word of the Lord with all of you out there that are watching through Ustream, for everybody over here that is watching live on Facebook, and, and for anybody that watches this later on. You need to know that God's word never ever ever comes back void it, he's never ending so you could watch this a year from now five years from now I could already be home with the Lord and you're watching it it's his word his word is the life that's Amen. what you need to hear and it will never come back void so we're just very thankful to, to be here and, and share the word of the Lord Amen. with you guys amen so before we go I always remind people to go to jamforjesus.org listed above my head jamforjesus.org all the revivals dinners a lot of the different tent revivals that we do and and we go to yeah. different ministries uh, meetings as well and and pictures yeah. and videos are on there and Amen. and if the Lord moves on you there is a PayPal button where you can donate to the ministry to help us as as we go out and share the word of the Lord and and if you have anything else there are phone numbers on there if you have food mm -hmm. clothing canned goods you know toothbrushes anything like that you can always donate that to us and and we will get it out there when we do those barbecues for the homeless downtown and in and, and those little different revivals we do at Pastor Fisher's church over there on Fenton Road and and all of those things you know so so we're gonna get right into the word today because we need to get back to it we need to get back to him because we cannot do it by ourselves we cannot do it by ourselves you know I was listening to a song this morning you know lift up your hands O ye gates mm -hmm. we are in need of the blood of the lamb mm -hmm. we need him we need him every day to fill us so then we have the strength and the courage mm -hmm. to share him with whomever we meet whomever we meet so let's just pray over the word that that we're about to share that that his holy spirit not only fill us but it fill all of you there and everybody out there and and that we all get from it that we all are filled and and get that understanding so that we can then use the word today okay. and put it in our lives so go ahead grandpa heavenly father in the mighty name of jesus christ yes, lord, lord we just humble ourselves before you, Lord, and submit ourselves yes. unto thee, Lord. We ask for your mighty, Jesus. glorious, supernatural anointing yes. about the airwaves and this TV and this, mm. whoever is watching, seeing, yes, Father Lord. God, now or after, Lord, there will be a mighty, glorious mm. blessing Thank and you, touch Jesus. from you, Holy Spirit, because we submit ourselves unto thee. Have your way, Lord, in yes. all this service, in all this meeting. And Lord, we give in promise and vow always mm, to yes. give you all the praise, glory, and honor. We thanksgiving in the mighty name mm, of yes. Yeshua Messiah, the Lord Jesus yes. Christ. Amen and amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. I'm excited. I, I love the word of the Lord and, and I just love his spirit, you know. I was sitting there yesterday, I think I even posted something on Facebook about there's nothing greater than his presence. There, there's no greater presence that we can be in, no greater company. He's our counselor, he's our friend, he's our deliverer liver he is everything and in John 1 10 it says he was in the world and the world was made by him mm -hmm. Amen. and the world knew him not right what is he saying he's saying we they don't know they don't know who they can call on they don't right. know he's their comforter their deliverer that he will help them in their time of need Do you know uh, God just told me this a little bit earlier said you cannot find God unless you find yourself and the only way is when you find yourself, you deny yourself mm -hmm. and pick up his cross and follow him. Oh, because you realize it's him in you. I mean, he's so amazing. He's so amazing. Second Corinthians 5.19, if you guys have your Bibles, you know, you can follow along or your, your smartphones, mine's being used over there right now. But but Second Corinthians 5.19, he says, to wit, means understand, see, hear, okay, that God was in in Christ, Amen. reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them. Jesus constantly said, thy sins forgiven thee. Did he not? Constantly when he would come and somebody would come to him and he would tell them. You know, it says, uh, it doesn't say by, it says in. 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 Yes. In in he was in Christ amen, amen. so mark 2 7 if, if I know I'm gonna jump around on, on quite a few scriptures today but he just kind of took me through the word this morning and mark 2 7 it says the scribes who heard him they heard him amen. said blasphemy who but God 
can mm-hmm. forgive sins. Amen. They didn't understand. And this is where he was saying he was in the world. <laughs> the world was meat, but they knew him not. And this is why they said, you know, blasphemy on that. He was committing blasphemy because they did not know it was God was in Christ. Amen. It was him in Christ because they said, well, who, who but God can forgive sins? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they recognize the anointing is like the, the, the beggar that saw Peter and John in the, the temple. So mm-hmm. He recognized the anointing. You mm-hmm. know? And, and he asked for alms. And they said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I give unto you, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rise up and walk. In the name of what? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Something better than money. Because mm. money couldn't get him back. There's just something about that name. Yeah. Something about the that name. The name of Jesus <laughs> lift up that man and begin yes. to walk. Where yes. he, where he was paralyzed. Yes. Amen. Yes, and I, and I think that's a lot of the problem today. We're not filling ourselves with His Word. We're not building our faith. So then people aren't speaking it. So we, we act on what we believe. And if we're going to pray over somebody, you got to believe it. If you got to believe it, you know, and you'll know them by their fruits. These things shall follow them that believe. See. Healings, miracles, signs, wonders. Yeah. They shall follow them whom believe. Jesus said, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That's in Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30. This is a promise for all. Because he says, I'm going to say it again. Come to me, all. All who are weary and heavy laden. Heavy. Carry their own load. They carry their own load. Yes. He said, you cast all your cares upon me. Carry your load upon me. I'll make it light for you. You're so worried, Mm -hmm. frustrated, fearful. No, no, cast it upon him. Give it to him. Don't worry about it. Yes. Yes. Amen. So come to me all. Anybody can come. This promise is for everybody. It's for you listening out there. It's for anybody on here. If you don't know him, he's saying, come to me. I will give you rest. And, and that promise, what does he also promise in that? He reveals the Father to us. Mm-hmm. This is what he does. Amen. He reveals the Father to us. If we read Matthew 11, uh, 25 through 27, he says, Ye shall find rest unto your souls. Mm. A peace that passes by all mm. understanding. All understanding because you will know. You'll know where you came from. You'll know where you're going to. You'll know that whatever you're going through here, you're going through it. He gives you that peace. And the best part of it that whatever is done is forgiven. Mm, past, <laughs> present, and future. And that's a big thing for us to wrap around. I say that all the time. But, but Jesus reveals the Father to us. So that we know these things, so that we know how much he loves us, so that we know that this too shall pass, that we're going to leave here and go through eternity with him. Amen. Eternity. Amen. If you're broken hearted, if you're sick, the lame, anybody, he says, come Amen. and I will give you rest. You know, when my, when my late wife passed away, I was having a hard time and I had a dream or a vision and I couldn't understand it. I saw her put in a wedding dress. I said, no. I said what's the matter with you? She put in a wedding dress. I'm going to get married. You're crazy. You're my wife. No, I'm going to get married. <laughs> You're crazy, man. I got so mad. I got out of the house. What's the matter with this crazy woman? You know, It was a dream, you know, but it was so real. Mm-hmm. I've had She's those. my wife. Then I, when, I, when I woke up, yeah. She, she passed away. Which she was going to the Lord's wedding supper. Yeah, amen. 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 He speak to us in that amen. way. So Matthew twelve six, you guys, I'm going to Matthew twelve six. He says, But I say unto you that in this place, mm-hmm. he's talking about in him, in this place is one greater than the temple. Mm-hmm. It's greater than the body that you're looking at. It's greater than the temple that you think you're going in, and, and, and that's the temple of God. Mm-hmm. There is one greater than the temple. Greater than He is greater. He is greater than all things. So if we understand that Jesus reveals the Father to us, then we start looking at His Word a little bit differently, and, and we start seeing what He's saying. Man, and, th- and that's why... We became the temple. 
Mm -hmm. uh, this is where God dwell before you know, the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, uh, the temple was a building, but after he died and rose again, we became the temple. That's right. Amen. Now it's he, now Christ in you. Yeah, the Christ hope of glory. in you. So, so we can't keep doing this lip service that's going on. We're here to edify and lift the name of the Lord Jesus so that all hear. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of lip service going on in the world today. A lot. You but know, we are called. Amen. We are a holy priesthood. And if you don't have a conviction when you do something wrong, it really means you're not safe. If you're safe, you got to have a conviction mm -hmm. when you do something wrong. Oh, we know it right away. We know it right away. The spirit. Because when you're born again, your spirit comes alive. Okay? But before, we're not, we, before we were saved, our spirit was dead in sin and trespasses. Mm -hmm. But because we believe in Jesus Christ, who took all our sins and trespasses, we became alive. Our spirit came alive. We're born again. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's what it really means. Our spirit was born again. It was dead, but now it's born again because the Lord Jesus Christ took our place. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So, so we've got to start lifting up the army of the Lord. We've got to start calling out to those who, who have no faith, who have no truth, who don't see. We've got to call out to these dry bones, even to our own. Sometimes our own bones can get dry. Sometimes that faith inside of us, we can just let it diminish and, and something else push it down. And we've got to start lifting it back up. The army of the Lord has to rise back up. John 16, 33, you guys. John 16, 33, he says, this is Jesus. He says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. It doesn't say by me. Says, in me. In me. Yes. In me ye might have peace. <laughs> Hallelujah. He says, In the world, he's telling us, you are, ye shall have tribulation. <laughs> Ye yeah. shall have anguish, ye shall have pressure, ye shall have some afflictions, you shall have some troubles, right? Mm -hmm. He says, but, I always love the but in the ends. He goes, but, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Now, good cheer means to, to have courage and comfort. The comforter. This is where he says, in me, the comforter. That's why he made us more than a conqueror. If you understand what more than a conquer is, I think I said this before years ago, but more than a conquer is like, you know, the champion of the world, he goes and boss, pom, 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 and then he beats the guy, and then he gets his paycheck, you know. He goes home, and the wife is there, and the wife takes the check. <laughs> I well, the wife is more this than is a This is one of his favorites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the wife is more than a conquer. The wife didn't have to fight, but her husband did, but she got the... The check, amen. But she's more than a conqueror. That's what happened. <laughs> Women are smart, that's yeah. why, right? No. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay, well, forget what you don't know what, what you say. <laughs> but anyway, that's what it really is. Jesus what made us more than a conqueror <laughs> yes. because he conquered for us. So we're more than a conqueror. We are more than a conqueror. So yeah. John 16, 33, he says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace, because in the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Now, we, we want to go in, into the next verses so that we gain understanding of that. So I'm going to go to John 17, 1, because that's the end of chapter 16, you guys. He says, but uh, be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. So we're going to jump over to John uh, 17, 1. Let me pull that up for you guys. John 17, 1 through 7, if you have your Bibles. It says, these words, so this is, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Now these words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished thy work, which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me in thine own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. So he's telling us something there. He says, I have manifested thy name 
unto them which thou gavest me out of the world, thine are they, or thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. They have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Mm -hmm. He says they are of thee. So he spoke those words. He lifted up his eyes and said, power over all flesh. I like that word, kept, kept, kept the word, you know, because when the word, when you kept the word, when you catch the word, actually the word catches you. Mm -hmm. And that becomes a change in your life. Because mm -hmm. any, right after that, you're going to get a conviction every time you, ha you do something wrong. And that means that the the, the word of God already got you. Amen. Yeah, it's what well, we we get it on the inside of Amen. us. Amen. Inside of us. Amen. Yeah. So he has power over all flesh that he Jesus should give mm -hmm. eternal life. Now, give is he's giving it. It's a gift to you. <laughs> he says so. Power over all flesh, eternal life to as many. As many. That means all. He said all who come to me. Yeah. If you're heavy, or if you're uh, weary and heavy laden. Amen. <laughs> and that gift was expensive because he took the blood of Jesus. Yes, yes. Amen. He says that they might know the only true God. Mm -hmm. That's important. This is where your eternal life, when you know. Well, he draws, he's reconciling the world back unto himself. He said, I have manifested thy name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we can call out. Yeah. Really, you cannot know God unless you know yourself. And yeah. you cannot know yourself unless you know God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, here's another one of my, my favorite verses, and it's back in, in Psalms as well. I don't remember which, which chapter back there, but John 17, 17. John 17, oh, 17, he says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Thy word. What did Jesus speak? The word of God. Thy word is truth. This is how he says, I am the word. I am made flesh. It's the spirit we have to look at. He was in Christ. In Christ. Thy word is truth. Sanctify them mm -hmm. through thy truth. So he's basically saying, sanctify them through thy word. It actually says, it's separate them. Yes. Separate them. Sanctification means separation. And that's the only thing that's going to separate you from the world, the word, the truth. Amen. Amen. Once you really, really are sincere with God and receive him as your personal Savior, you're gonna, the Holy Spirit is always gonna lead you and guide you into all truth. Mm. And there's gonna be an intimate personal relationship, a conviction in there whenever you do something wrong or think something wrong or speak something wrong because we have become the temple of the Holy Ghost. Right, that's why he says, I've written it in their hearts, Amen. in your spirit, it's in your mind. These things we know. John 17, 26, John 17, 26, it says, and. He says it again. He says this like two or three times in this chapter. He says, And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare, will declare that, now listen, this is why, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. Right, right, right. right. The love. You know, God is love. See, this took take me back a few years back. I, I had a, a spare six hundred dollars, and the Lord said, "Don't spend it. Wait till you go to Mexico." So I went over there and I kept those six hundred dollars. I didn't know why, and then uh, an opportunity came. It was this brother there in Mexico that was renting this place, the backyard of a house there. The people were letting him. He built a little church there. Mm -hmm. And they told him that that part there, he's going to have to move mm -hmm. or he has to buy it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's about, it was about oh, a little bit, 2,000 pesos, okay? Okay. And I was visiting there and ministering, and he was telling me about that he's going to have to move because they already told him either they're going to buy, uh, buy that place, you know, mm -hmm. or else move out. 
And so I, I spoke to the brother. I said, well, you know, don't you believe that God can provide? Well, brother, you know, uh, uh, the people here only make so much, 20 or $50 a week. Uh, I don't know what kind of, don't you think God can provide? No, well, you know, all kinds of excuses. I said, brother, here's your money. Amen. It not came out. I'm mean, saying, wow, you know. Well, already, we just yeah. listen. We just have to listen to him and, and not doubt in our yeah. hearts when we hear him. Because that gives me an example when before the Lord called me in the ministry and to do the show and go out and share, you know, um, he, he had woken me and, and gave me a number to, to, to donate um, to the ministry because my grandfather was traveling all the time, you know, and I know this. I've seen many people healed and delivered by the Spirit of the Lord through him because it's Christ in us. But he gave me a number. It was 500. And, he, you know, uh, my grandfather called me, I think it was the next day. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, the Lord told me that, that he, he's moved on you and there's, you know, a certain amount you're going to donate. He says, but, and I said, well, don't say what it is. Don't say what it is. And he said, well, I'm going to write it down in my pocket. And we met at Walmart. Walmart in 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 uh, Clio actually, yeah. and, and he said, "I'll write it in my pocket. When you hand it to me, I will hand you the note." And and it was the same amount you had written down five hundred, and I had five hundred. You know, but he will confirm things to us. We just only have to be obedient. That's it, and he will bless us mm -hmm. more than for as many as are led by the Spirit of God. The other sons, you gotta be led. Mm -hmm. It's not in, in nothing about. Uh, the money hungry thing that you do, you know, because no, really about myself, souls. you know, I'm well set up. I don't need money. Okay. He'll uh, set us I, up. G, uh, GM, I'm retired. What? I don't need money for myself. All the money that comes here just goes right to the ministry, even though, and, and not only above that, we are, um, my own money, we help to build churches, yes, help other yes, ministries, the Lord. because that's where our heart is. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, and when heart. God sees that, you'll never be out of money. Yeah, we know he looks at the heart, but he is the word. Amen. The flesh is not the word, and that's what they couldn't get around. Amen. They could not get around that. The spirit inside him, the spirit inside, this is the temple that holds the spirit. The flesh can't speak. It can't even live without the spirit. It can't even live. So that's why Jesus can say, I am the word. See. I am the word. I, it's my spirit, his spirit in Christ speaking and the power of all things in obedience when he spoke. Healing, miracles, power, uh, deliverance, water to wine, dead made to life, all of these things. Like the, the love of money is the root of all evil. But see, it's just the love, the love of God. And the love of God and through the love of God, because God knows your heart, and you focus and intent just is to take the gospel. Mm. So God sees that, and you don't even have to ask. Mm. Money will come. That's okay? right. Uh, I mean, I have. Uh, How much does it cost to share the gospel to speak it? Nothing. He says it's free. it's free. We only have to speak it and trust in Him to supply whatever we need, because He will make sure it's done. Yeah, it costs to take the gospel. Like uh, their ministers on TV mm -hmm. and radio, you know, they it costs them money. Okay, and it's and it's, and it's glorious opportunity to sponsor them. Those TV ministry, yes. radio ministers that are out there preaching the gospel here and all over the world. When God quickens you to give, give, amen. Yes. Because it'll be the same thing as you going out there. Maybe right. you can't go, but you can send. That's right. And it doesn't cost you to speak his word. Amen. No matter where you are, it does not cost us to speak his word. Amen. It's so easy. And the amazing thing is, is it changes everything around you. It all becomes enlightened. Everything's just that joy, that peace, all of that comes in. Mm -hmm. The dead come to life and, and he's speaking to all of us. He's speaking to you out there, to everybody over here. He's speaking to us continually. He says, I continually call out continually. He says, come, I will give you rest. You will know him. You will know the one, the only true God. He will know him. Whomever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know, I, I, it's, it's, it's so joyful. And one of the greatest joys that I have you know, when I meet ministers in Mexico you know, and in places where there's, there's kind of hardships and stuff, Mm -hmm. uh, like this pastor, you know, they were supposed to uh, kick him out of this property behind this this, this uh, lot, you know. If he didn't have enough money, you know, to buy it, you know. 
and I already had the money in my pocket. I had oh, the one that you were just telling us about, and, and, and he and, got the place? But see, amen. God told me specifically, don't spend the money, you take it with you, save it, okay? But I didn't know the purpose. But see, God knows the purpose. He didn't do something, wait. He says, don't they wait upon the Lord to renew their strength. God has a purpose for everything. So the time came that he told me about this, yeah. then I knew the purpose that that money, the 600, was for him. Right, so sometimes we get antsy. I think yeah. is what he's trying to say. Sometimes we get antsy or we think, oh, well, did I hear him? Yeah. We know at that moment we did. Mm -hmm. And if we just stand on it, if we just stand on his word and listen to the call, if we listen to that call, he says, I will do. Yeah. Come to me, all you who are heavy. Yeah. You're labor. heavy in your heart, your spirit, your anything that's going on because Amen. he's coming, he says. Are you ready? Do mm. you know him? Do you have that personal relationship? Have you ever called out and said, Lord Jesus, come into my heart? Because no one can do it for you. I can't do it for you. Yeah. My grandfather can't do it for you. We can share his word with you, but then you got to decide. Yeah. You have to make that decision for yourself. Oh, and he's waiting. It's like Adam and Eve. They had a choice. The, the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil mm -hmm. or the tree of life. Mm -hmm. And he's waiting. He's not up there wanting to, to, to bash you on the head. He actually says, your sins and iniquities will I remember no more. The bottom of the ocean floor totally forgotten. Yeah. Far as the east is from the west. Mm -hmm. And he's calling on you today. And the love and the yes. name of God is love, agape. Yes. He loves us. He loves us and he, he loves you. No We're going to say the salvation prayer here in a second, but, but I want you to just empty yourself of any thoughts, of anything that you've done in the past, anything that you're holding over yourself it, or over anyone it, else. Doesn't matter. You have to forgive. Forgive yourself. Forgive everyone else as he's about to forgive you when you call. And maybe you've already called and, and you just want to get back into that relationship so that you can go out and, and hear him more and, and get closer to him. So, so Romans 10, 8, 9, and 10, he says that Jesus, whoever believes that he died on that cross for you, mm -hmm. that he rose again on the third day, mm -hmm. that, he, that you shall be saved. Amen. Amen. Jesus did it once and for all. Amen. So I'm just going to say these words and, I, and just repeat after me. Okay. Just repeat them after me and then we're going to have my grandfather pray over everybody and, and, and we're going to pray over him as well. So, so, so just close your eyes and, and make it between you and God. You and him. Nobody else. Let everything go. Amen. I don't care if, you, if you're already saved. Some of us get that, you know, oh, well, I don't need. Let's all say it. Amen. He is worthy. Amen. 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 So just bow your heads and know that he loves you. Amen. And just repeat after me. Amen. Just say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I come before you. I come before you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I do believe. I do believe. That he died for me. That he died for me. And that he rose again on that third day. And he rose again on the third day. And he's now day. sitting at your right now hand. Now sitting at the right hand. And he will intercede for me. Intercede for me. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Fill me. Fill me. Mold me. Mold me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. That I now have eternity with that you. That now I have eternity life. In Jesus' name, Father. In Jesus' name. I thank you that it is done. I thank you it is done. Amen. Uh, I see the Spirit yes. of God moving. And uh, some lady uh, is yes, being Lord. healed. Yes. This, uh, uh, and the female yes, organs. There's been a lot of problems and things. You've been uh, fear about cancer. No, no, no. The Lord says right now, if you believe, you are healed. Yes, healed in Jesus' name. And you can go and check yourself and find out that you don't have nothing wrong with you in Jesus' mighty name. Oh yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Just receive it. That's all he says. Just receive it. Father, we praise you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all of the praise. Everything unto you. Mm. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. We're just going to pray over everybody out there. Yeah. Everybody listening here on Facebook. Everybody mm. listening out there. And, and anybody that watches this a year, two years, six months, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We're going to pray for you right now. And I just saw some eyes being healed. 
Amen. He yes. says you just thank God for your healing. Stand up and thank him. Amen. That's it. So so I'm going to have my grandfather pray over over all of us. Amen. And, and go ahead and pray. Okay. Just repeat with me these prayers. Maybe you've done it before, but there's nothing wrong with doing it again. So Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Forgive me. Forgive me. For all of my sins for, and iniquities. For all of my sins and iniquities. Now and forever, Lord. Now and forever. Because I am your child. I am your child. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. And Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit for helping me. For helping and me. Strengthen me and strengthen me. And giving me wisdom. And giving me wisdom. Guide my footsteps. Guide my footsteps. All the days of my life. All the days of Make my life. Make me your instrument. Make me your instrument at all times. At all times. I submit myself unto you. I submit myself unto you. And commit everything into your hands. And commit everything into my your family, hands. My family, my household. My family, my household. And my children, my children. children's children. Because you are my Lord. You are my Lord. And you are the Lord of my house. You are the Lord of my house. My family. My family. And I cast all my cares upon you. And I will cast all my cares upon you. Because I know you care for us. I know you care for us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So so I hope you said those prayers today. And, and my grandfather's getting ready to, to head out to Texas on Thursday for about three weeks to do some ministering down there. Amen. I'm probably going to fly down there near the end of, of this month and, and be down there for a few days. I know Pastor Fisher's flying down there. He does a lot of ministry in Mexico where children are eating out of dumpsters, things like that. So I just pray. Uh, we're going to pray over his flight and over everything that's going on there. And, and, and if the Lord moves on you, go to the site Jam for Jesus. If he moves on you to help him, it's 450 for a trailer load of food that they can take across that border Amen. to these kids and, and get these people Bibles and things like that. So I want to say this prayer real quick before we go off of the air. And, so and so the, just believe with me as we pray. And this area Areas is where the garbage dumps and everything. There are a lot of people going there yeah. looking for us. And we have ministries there that we take groceries and yes, have services food. and we Amen. keep groceries. The things that, that, that we forget and might take for granted, they don't even have. So so let's just pray right now. We just say, Heavenly Father, we just put the yes, blood Lord. of Jesus yes, around Lord. my grandfather as yes, he travels, Lord. Father God, that, that you just use him mightily down there, Father God, that souls are reached, that, that children are healed and set free, Father God. We ask that, that when I travel that it's that you put your angels around me father and around the fishers and any of the pastors that are going out yes, father Lord. to reach out to those who are lost father we just Jesus. thank you that your anointing and in many souls are brought back Jesus. under the kingdom father God we thank you that the funds are already there Lord that the food is there and all of the supplies and we just give you all the praise the glory and honor in Jesus mighty name amen amen you guys we got to go here because we're running out of time for 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 this show over over here so so do go to jamforjesus.org if the lord gave you a healing today whatever it is call us and share it we'll bring yeah. you on the show or we'll just share it yeah. over over the phone or if you need prayer even and, and remember the word of god says whosoever shall call upon the mm. name of the lord shall be saved shall be saved that word means also delivered delivered revelations 12 11 it's by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimonies hallelujah uh also join us on comcast i almost forgot you guys comcast every tuesday from 8 30 to 9 30 channel 17 that's comcast xfinity we have a full hour slot there uh here for all points tv you can also call the station at 810-250-7365 i am charity you guys this is my grandfather evangelist roy castro remember the god God is love. Amen. And he loves yes, he is. us. He, he loves, loves you. you. He loves you. He loves you. And he loves us. And, and we're just so thankful for you joining us. And, and God willing, we will be right back here next Friday Amen. at 12 o'clock. We're praying for you guys. We love all of you. And keep us in your prayers. Amen. God Pray bless you. <laughs> yes, we just did. Amen. Just Amen. thank him that it's done. Amen. God bless you guys. We'll see you next week. Amen.